so I think I'm finally growing on Instagram and if you guys have been watching for a while you guys remember a few months ago I made a video talking about I think during Inktober I posted every single day and I lost a thousand followers and you know how unmotivated it is to post something and it doesn't get no type of love yeah it sucks I, I know I'm here to tell you I think I I think I cracked the code I've been um I've been doing something over on Instagram and in one month and I gained a little bit over 10,000 followers but since I started recording this video the past like couple days I've went up another 10,000 followers so I'm at 68k right now and I'm about to hit 70k so it's crazy in like a month month and a half I've literally get grew the most I've ever grown in my Instagram life and a lot of people say the same thing they don't really tell you how to do it they just say like oh consistency but uh, it's kind of consistency I cracked the code a little bit I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it right now but first not a sponsor but I want to thank oh who for sending me some of their markers I think 216 pack of markers for this project that I used to grow on Instagram um oh who didn't reach out to me I saw one of my favorite streamers using their product and then I reached out to them and just said hey I'm doing this project would you guys like to help out and let me test out some of your markers <laughs> and they said yeah so that's what I've been using this whole time. I have Prismacolors, I have Copics, I have Artist Loft. Uh, what is the other one? Faber, Castell. I don't know. There's another brand that does um, alcohol markers. They're all good, but I think Ohuhu to me is the best just because of price. They're really premium, but they're more affordable and I love them. They have so many colors. I just want to say that. Thank you, Ohuhu. I'm going to put a link down in the description and you guys can use my code. I think it's 10% uh, off. I'll put it there. You guys can click that link. These markers are the best. I love them. I highly recommend them. And I'm not even talking because they gate. They, I reached out to them. Okay. I love them. Anyways, let's get into it. So this consistency actually work. I'm going to tell you this. I wrote like some little notes. So I probably sound like a robot, but I don't think consistency really works on social media because if you look at my other social medias, I posted every single day, sometimes twice a day for about 400 days straight. The way I grew, if you look at my TikTok, I grew on TikTok, but it's because I was drawing everybody. And, you know, I don't want to say I was the first one to do it, but I didn't see anybody else on my TikTok drawing their followers and I got like 600k followers on TikTok and like man it was like a month it was so fast I was going up like thousands a day but that's because I was drawing everybody I wouldn't take a day off I would draw every single day uh these people sometimes I'll do like for a couple weeks I was doing like 10 TikToks a day and then I burnt out after I hit a year I started to burn out but I was still posting every single day I was being consistent but I was drawing something that people wanted and they looked forward but then people in the industry started to reach out to me and were like oh can I see your portfolio I didn't have anything in my portfolio because all I was doing was drawing people all day. So I try to make my content more towards like character design and trying to get like a job at like Nickelodeon and stuff like that. So I would just post art, my own art, me drawing my own art. I started to lose followers. I started to lose views, but I was still being consistent. I was posting every single day, but I was posting stuff that I wanted to post and people didn't like that. So that's what I mean when I say like, I don't think consistency really works unless you're making something people want to see consistently or they're benefiting and they're getting like a free drawing from you or that's basically what I did. They were getting free art. So they consistently watched me. I just want to get to the point to be like my favorite artist where they post once a week or something and then they'll get like a billion likes and a billion comments and they could open a shop and get a billion sales, but I'm not there yet. A lot of creators just say it's consistency and I may, I was consistent, but I was consistently making trash and trash just don't cut it you have to find something you like but everybody else likes like like right now i'm drawing a a new pokemon every single day everybody loves pokemon my video i just posted yesterday has a million views in a day it got a million views and i can't even comprehend a million people watching the video which is crazy you just have to find that thing that thing that you love and everybody else loves and sometimes it's hard man especially when you use social media as like a business or you need to get eyes on your work so you can get money for like commissions or your shop like stickers or something like that i hate i hate having to be on social media all the time i know it sucks when you don't grow or you don't get engagement because that's just you gotta feed the algorithm man it sucks but it, if you want to create just create if you don't want to worry about growing just stick to that once you get in that little mode where you need social media to like make money like like uh i quit my job so i could do art full time and now i'm like constantly focusing on social media and i'm telling you if you want to just create art just create it don't worry about the social media stuff just go crazy create what you want to create eventually somebody will find your work if you guys been here long enough you guys know my main goal is to get a job in animation some people say why would you even want to work in animation animation is so bad right now it's just i don't know what it is I just it's just a goal man i want to work and i want to work on something i want my name in the credits sounds stupid probably but 
I want to be on a team where everybody's passionate about like a show or a cartoon or a movie, whatever we're working on. I want to work on something. I don't want to just make a bunch of Instagram art and throw it into the void. I want something to be there. You know, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like if I'm on social media, the more eyeballs I get on my work, it'll be way more easier for like studios to see because a, a few artists I follow, they, they stream and they'll be like, Oh, I posted on social media, this company, WB or Nickelodeon, they saw my art on Instagram, they reached out and they wanted me to create something for their show. I follow like a bunch of artists and a lot of them that happened. So I feel like the more eyeballs on my work, the easier it'll be. I, I don't know. It's just, and that's why I'm like going so hard on social media. Well, mainly Instagram was so hard because I just want, I need those eyeballs to see what I got cooking over here, you know? But going back to how I'm growing on Instagram right now, I tried three different things. I posted three different videos. One was I'm drawing a comic, you guys comment what happens next. And then another one was a Dungeons and Dragons party. You guys comment what characters I add. And then this third one is drawing all 100 pokemon or 150 pokemon and you guys comment which one goes next and the DD one did good i was getting like 10,000 views average and then the comic book one it horrible I was getting like a couple hundred and then it started like accumulating over time a couple thousand but then the pokemon one in the first day i think it got like 30,000 or something like that and then the next day it got like 700,000 and then like 50,000 it was going crazy and then the last video i posted yesterday has a million views which is crazy and then i'm gonna work on one i'm doing those every day so and that's easy it's something that I want to do because I've been practicing traditional art more I've been wanting to fill up my sketchbooks more so not only am I benefiting and getting better at markers and stuff like that from this project but it's also helping me grow on social media and in real life I guess my hands they're getting stronger so I think if you want to grow on social media specifically Instagram because they're pushing that reels thing right now they're like giving everybody tons of views I think you need to focus on your Instagram and reels and just try multiple things do multiple different projects in like a week I would say try something new every day and whichever one gets the most views just focus on that project and then be as professional as you can I don't know if it's just me but I'll be scrolling and if I see a video that just looks low quality the lighting's bad and it just looks like I don't know you could just tell when videos are not high quality I just I literally just skip them and I feel bad because I'm thinking like man I was probably there and I wanted people to watch my videos if the lighting sucks and the camera angle is not good and the the clips are too long I just skip my clips I'll tell you right now I use cap cut and on my Instagram clips I make everything 0.7 or 0.8 every clip and it's just like fast and I make it I try to make it no longer than 15 seconds and I average at around like 12 seconds they're quick Instagram wants them to be quick uh, I know TikTok is it wants longer videos but i say grind on that instagram make it look professional make your lighting good make your camera angles good and people will stick around i i promise because i do i stick around when a video looks high quality i stay i remember on vine people would have high quality videos and i would stay even though their content was probably trash i stood because the video looked like a movie listen do it but uh here's my final thoughts i wanted to just say social media sucks i don't want to be a content creator to grow i just want to be an artist maybe one day i'll be a good enough artist where i just post and people are just like i don't have to use hashtags and people are just like oh my god this is amazing and it has like a billion trillion likes and comments and engagement and my mom tells me she loves me and my dad's like i'm proud of you son I'm just kidding my dad's proud of me i think but uh yeah consistency don't work unless you're making consistent heat you know, nobody wants consistent trash make something people want or benefit from i guess like i was drawing everybody for free they benefited they liked it they kept watching i stopped i stopped watching me if you go to my tiktok i have like 700k almost and i get like a thousand views over there it sucks but anyways that's all i could think of for this video and i hope you guys took something from it i wasn't make, trying to make it an informative video but i just wanted you guys to hear how I grew. I'm growing still. It's crazy. I can't even believe it. I feel like somebody, I posted somebody's comment and they reposted it to their story and they said, oh my God, Base posted my comment to the story on Famous. And I was just thinking like, what? But I would do that same thing to other creators when they repost my stuff. But anyways, thank you all. I'm still learning, but thank you all for being here and shout out to my Patreons. Here's my patrons i'll put you is there and when we hit 70k i think i'm gonna do a draw this in your style challenge if you guys want to watch that or join that be any part of that and hopefully i see you guys next sunday that's the plan every sunday a new video um i don't know drop a like comment tell me what you think uh are you guys watching me grow are you guys growing do you guys have any secret tips you can tell me i don't know leave it in the comments below uh shout out patreon peace out